start with the important bit, the important games from the weekend. Oh. Big game. Let's have your let's have your community game rundown, my friend. Yes. Bear with me. Winding up now. Oh, gotta get ready because uh, you've stuck me in at the deep end. Now you put everything on my shoulders. So uh, there's uh... Uh, I just thought that I was repeating a lot of what you said last week, and I just thought oh, it goes on too long. So I just thought you're you're big enough and ugly enough to to look after this on your own. So off you go, mate. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I think Hugh's going to play the guitar while you're doing this as well, mate. <laughs> <laughs> no, they didn't guitar, play this week, play... did they? Did the I mean, New like... Dog Stars play this week? Yeah. All right, I'll, yeah. Ch- I'll, I'll, I'll start listening for that bit. <laughs> 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 All right, damn boys. Enough, mm-hmm. enough taking the piss out of me. Let's go. Okay. okay. Premiership results. We've only got one of note this week. Uh, Kamada and Quinns lost again at home, 18-22. To Merthyr, Slandovery had a bye as a 13 team league. Uh, next week, uh, Kamal and Quinns travel to Sardis Road to play Pont de Prix on the Thursday night S4C game, and Slandovery host Newport in a big clash on Saturday. In Championship West, Ammonford lost 22 42 at home to Narba. Fangenic lost the second game on the bounce, 29 uh, 30 at home to Stalavera. Plymouth won on the road to Tata Steel, 26-20. And Newcastle Emlyn will lead in Trabanos, 20 points to nine, on 62 minutes when a head injury caused the game to be abandoned. Uh, everyone's okay, as far as I know. It's all been cleared up. Uh, game fixtures for this week, we've got Ammonford hosting Meister Quinns, Newcastle Emlyn travelling to Bonham Mine, Plymouth at home to Dunvant, Narbeth at home to Astalavera and Fangenich travelling to Trebanos into Division 1 West. Uh, Velenvall lost a very tight game, 15-16 at home to Aberystwyth. Uh, Clefley Wondrads continued their unbeaten run going 21-10 victors in Gawatan. Kidwelly won 25-7 away to Whitland. Buddyport, Penn Cloud and Hendy Gassainan were both postponed. This week's games, we've got Aberystwyth at home to Hendy, Whitland travelling to Gassainon, Trenefri Wanderers at home to Vellinvall, nice local derby there, Buddyport travel to Ponta de Lice and Kidwelly travel to an island. Uh, Division 1 West Central, uh, Brennaman lost away to Birchgrove 16-6. So disappointed with this one. I really expected Brennaman to do it, but nevertheless, onwards and upwards. This week, they're hosting Astrid Ginlice. Over into Division 2 West now. And first picture up, Carmarthen Athletic beat Lampeter 9-5 at home. Fishguard, well, th- this is my result of the week, you know. Yeah. Mm. Fishguard 16, Lacha 14. Nobody <laughs> nobody this side of the bridge likes Lacha, <laughs> yeah. but no win, they were 100%. And... <laughs> and it's just been smashed by Fishguard of all teams. Yeah. It is just brilliant. Uh, then we got Nanker Eddig beating to Christ 21 10 at home, and Ponteberim losing 17 37 at home to St. Clair's. Amman United against Mumbles and Milford Haven against Hemby were both postponed. This week we got Fishguard at home again against Carmarthen Athletic, Lampeter at home against Nanker Eddig, St. Clair's travel to Lacha, Ponteberim go to Mumbles, Tembi host Amman United, and to Christ. To Christ, to Christ, to Christ, host Milford Haven. See, it's too many in these divisions. I need to <laughs> break it down a little bit. Uh, Division 3 West A. I got to say this now, I haven't done one of these in a while. Uh, mm-hmm. Aberayron beat Haverford West 19 7 at home. Cardigan 41 0 over Pembroke Quinns. Langham losing 64 0 at home to Larne. Disappointed with that. Uh, Nayland 44 10 victors at home to Flanabada. And another great result, St. David's beating Pembroke 17 12 away. No, oh, that, that yeah. is cracking, you know. So on that one, Pembroke had four penalties, five penalties, all smack bang in front of the posts, and decided to scrum on each of them and try to run it over uh, and failed. So um, I was talking to a couple of boys today about it. So we were not impressed. We were not impressed, but there we go. Oh. Carry on. 
Carry on. Uh, fixtures for this week, we got Cardigan at home to Langham, Halford West hosting Pembroke, Larne hosting Nayland, Flannabada at home to St. David's. St. David's on the road two weeks in a row. Sarge. Mm. And Pembroke Dockwins at home to Aberaeron. Division 3 West B now. Kev Nathan beating Tumble 21-16 in the Gwen Drive Derby. Tumble will be really upset losing that. They've been so strong this season. Who this one is for you. New Dock Stars beat Furness 9-10 away from home. Clan Divvies <laughs> here beat Finia 22-0 at home. And Clan Gadog beat Tregaran 31-19 away. Uh, other games were Clan Dilo, Henny Grice and Trim Saran, Betos, both postponed. This week, we've got Betos at home to Trugaran, Flangadog at home to Kev Nathan, New Dog Stars hosting Flan Dilo, Penagrois hosting Flan Dibby, Trim Saran at home to Binya, and Tumble at home to Furness. Almost there, boys. Just a few short ones left. we got Division 5 West Central now. Pantavanan against Penny Bank. 1945 in Penny Bank's favour away, so a cracking win, and Seven Sisters, 61, Pontier to nil, that's, that's a tough one to take for, for any team, mm-hmm. but especially Pontier, so I, for some weird reason, back to do really well and come away with a league title this year. How wrong was I? Yeah, but you did that uh, last year. You're like a kiss of death when you uh, when you say somebody's going to have a good season. But the season. lower ones, yeah, because I backed Haverford West as well, and they just yeah. didn't turn up. Crap. <laughs> I know. Uh, fixtures for this week, uh, Pantavanan and Pennebank both on the road. Pantavanan go to Comturk, Pennebank go to Rickos. No game for Pontiates, as is a lovely 11-team league. Who doesn't love an odd-numbered league? It's, it's just brilliant. <laughs> uh, into uh, the younger boys now, uh, a youth play. <laughs> yeah, why are you Matt. say that, Matt? <laughs> what? <laughs> Into the younger boys now. Are you going to be careful how you say that stuff, mate? <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, it's the mind it goes into now. You were, I, I left you watching what you were doing. I wonder why you were boys left home at 18. Oh, dear. Uh, okay. Carry on. Carry on. Carry on. Uh, you've played round two, Halford West, lost 27 31 to Bontland. So that is the only youth game we had. And it was quarter final week for the Dewar Shield, played and bowl. Manith Maud and won 34 21 at home to Islam Schools. Uh, two derbies then for us. Keredigion beating Carmarthen Schools 15-13 in the Morgan Griffiths Plate. And uh, Philetley beating Pembrokeshire Schools 29-14 also at home in the Lawrence Miller Bowl. The semi-finals are this week. We haven't had the fixtures yet. But we will get them up as soon as we have them. Um... Is it me? And that's or... it. All done. Are they, are they playing... Is that like getting to the final stage a lot quicker than it normally does because i remember it getting to the final stages the other side of christmas yeah that's right yeah it's uh it's part of what they've done to change it they've uh basically condensed it all down into a pre-christmas it's in right. I'm I'm not too sure what happens after Christmas. I don't know if uh, you know the regional under sixteen do some training or something, but uh, it's it's definitely new. And you know, who did the rugby? You know, slogging it out in the in the mm. rain and the mud. Well, they they must go into Scarlet's East West after Christmas because that's what used to happen. That's where Scarlet's East and West used to come from. Or at the end of the season, you'd have your your Scarlet's under 18s effectively. Then wouldn't you? And so I'm assuming that yeah, that's well, that's, that's the, the logical thing. Hmm. Seems a bit... so. What happens to under 15s now? Is it do they just not play under 15s? Under 15s, no. Under 15s, there's no games as such now. But instead of only having a select, you know, 35, 40 boys do your training, every single person who wants to experience the coaching and the training can sign up for the emerging player program or whatever it's called. And they get all of that coaching through under 15 years. And then the selection process is at the end of the under 15, at the end of year 10. So it's right. basically the way they've done it is they've just opened up the coaching and the training to 
everyone who wants it. They sign up. They it's literally like a Google Forms. You click on it, register, use the days and times of training. And off you you go. turn up, boom. But there's no competitive games. Okay. Cool. Are we, are we all done with the community game then? Is that it? Yeah. 